Hello friends, welcome back to the Smart Exceller and this video is about the continuation of my previous video where we can have a techno commercial sheet or a appraisal sheets or you can have something for evaluation. So we can use different sort of techniques in this uh, workbook. So this is the recap of my previous video. So we have some criteria here and what I can do is I will be selecting any criteria and uh, after selecting the criteria I'll put a weightage. So after I put a weightage and whenever I give a score we can get the total score and from the total score I can get a rank and see the positions. So if you have to do evaluate or if you have to do appraisal and uh, if you want to have any sort of database so it's going to help you but this sheet is having the limitations. So you have to give scores manually and that uh, defines or def decides the total score. But if you were told you have to have make this more objective wise. So if you select the criteria and if you have a sub criteria and that has a meaning, it will be more helpful. Suppose this is advanced feature. So this is the criteria which we have. So I'm just short in this. And this is the criteria which are in the so it's almost almost the same criteria, but we have given a defined meaning in this sheet. So this is a scoring also. I have just shuffled the scoring, so it should be 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. But I have shuffled it here and there. And here you can see that uh, each criteria has a sub criteria and each criteria has a score. So whenever I select this and okay, I select a sub criteria, it is going to affect the score over here. So it is going to give this as a result. So we can, we can see something of more value and more, and if, it, if you can see in more clearly, it's having some more, uh, it's having some more efficiency than the other one. So if you, if you talk, if you want to see, I'm going to show you how it goes and if you have select this and when you select uh, any category, so we have no categories, I'm going to show you how Select this and it will give you a definite consolidated meaning for this. So to start this, first we have to have a main criteria. So the main criteria will be the general criteria. So I'm going to select this from here and I'm going to form the and I'm going to say create from my selection top row. So this is going to be a general criteria. So now you can see that I have a general criteria. So before that was no, if I did it, it's wrong. So you can, you can see general criteria. So now I'm going to have a new criteria I can be adding from here. So the new criteria which will be is I'm going to select from here because these are the things which have a database. So when I select from here, I'm going to, to the end and I'm going to select this. So in the easy way you can do is just create from selection and now you want to have from the left column. So if you want, you can or refer to my video on the ranges to how to select the ranges. So when I see OK and you can go and check that you have a certain set of things on board. So now if I want to have a different meaning over here. So, so the same thing I'm going to do over here is I'm going to go, go to data and I'm going to data validation and here I'm going to list and here I'm going to hit F3 and after I, after I hit F3 I'm going to get this this is the main criteria technique and I'm going to hit and I'm going to say OK so I have got certain lists so I can come I will be pulling this and control um, okay, I can see control C and control here. I can see I can have big length and I can do is control D for daily. So now I have different sort of things on board so I can make a selection selection and uh, I can keep these different selections and, uh, and uh, so that we can we can see the so we can have some some selection just for the Yeah, and we can give some scoring and the uh, sorry weightages. So if you want to have some sort of weightages, you can be
now i want to have a <clears throat> now i want to have a sub category so this is the main category i want to, this things to be selected automatically i don't want to type this uh, copy and paste this so i want to make this automated so to do that i have to make a copy of form also so it will be like uh, it will be an indirect form indirect So you can write equal to indirect. Open the parenthesis, and the reference will be this sheet. And again, so the head hit enter. But the issue is that if I have single words like capacity, capability, and location. This will be useful to me, but if I have uh, a gaps or space, ranges does do not cannot allocate the space. So if you come and see this, you can see this. So you can you can see that there is a underscore after every space. You can see underscore. You can see an underscore over here. So Excel doesn't recognize spaces, so you should have a substitute for this one. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to write a substitute formula in the beginning only. Substitute. This is the substitute formula. So this is the text, and the old text will be like. This is the old text. Now I want a new text. Which is having a double, which is having a underscore. So I've been double quotes, underscore, and double quotes, and hit enter. So now if I want to is why I typed here is so that I can get the silk uh, screen tips. But once you go to data validation, you cannot get the screen tips. So I can copy this. And go to data validation. Now select the cell. Sorry, select the cell. Go to data validation. Go to list and paste and do enter. So now you can see I got the things on board. So all payment terms. So all the things are in the list. So I don't want to go and copy and paste this. So what I'll be doing is uh, I'll be pulling this down. I can do Control D before delete. So I will get a different sort of. So I can get different sort of. I will be getting uh, different sort of. Uh, Criteria criteria. So each one has a different criteria. So so now these criteria I want to have a definite weightage to do the scoring. So you can see that the formulas uh, how the formulas are written. So I want to have a different uh, weightage so that I can check in the so I can make it more consolidated. So when I type this, I should get an answer. So, so this is uh, this is the beginning. So I want to continue this formulas. There are two type of formulas. One is normal formula where we get the uh, we get the uh, match and index where you get this as a column number, and advanced formula where you get the numbers which are allocated here so i hope you find this video useful and uh, i don't want to uh, juggle the whole information in one video and make it very lengthy and uh, boring so i want you to practice this and it's very quite simple and quite easy the formula is a tricky one so i want you to make this uh, a bit habit of practicing and starting this 
and uh, if you want to have this excel book you can send me any comment or an email or and, uh, uh, just start practice this before doing this so it's very simple steps and uh, once you're done with this i'm going to go to the advanced uh, formula writing so thanks for subscribing and thanks for giving me a comment, available comments and i would like to uh, i would like to, to subscribe my channel and hit the bell icon and then in i'm going to uh, I'm, i'll be curious enough to make another video on this advanced one and see you in the next video and thank you very much